Okay, I'm back at this particular tabletop. Again, this is a granite piece that I've painted and then put um, clear coat aluminite res alumilite resin over the top of it. And uh, I'm gonna flip this over, take the take the little these little bumps off. I'm just using a chisel here to uh, chip away. And what I'm doing is going from the outside in. So if I hit it this way and knock it off, it, the chance of it peeling off this edge is greater and I don't wanna do that because this edge is perfect the way it is. I just need to level it off of the base of this granite piece, which I will then hook up to the, uh, attach the table base to, the, and I'll show you that. So when you're cutting off this, drip edge. You have to be careful. It's stone, but it granite can still be chipped and cracked and broken, especially with a chisel. So you have to be careful at the angle you do it. I, I'm i just trying to get a right angle to grab it, but not dig into the granite. Just to grab these bumps, but not dig into the granite because it's inherently going to be a problem. I've also got this flipped over onto some of this uh, material that doesn't want to grab the resin. Although this resin is dry, I still need to be careful. I have put it over, flipped it over on a cloth before prematurely and I've ended up having to sand it all down and pour another coat of resin on it, which really isn't fun after you've spent a lot of time trying to get it where it is and it looks good and then you have problems. So. Those are just some helpful tips, I hope. So I have added the tabletop to this piece. If you can see that I have textured it with something called Bondo. It's got a resin and a hardener in it, not unlike the uh, resin that I use from Illuminite. But I've textured it, so it's cool. It allows me to do this. And I think I'm gonna leave it white because it's just interesting in and of itself. But uh, it's not attached yet, but I will attach it with an epoxy. And then I'm gonna add the same texture here. I'm gonna add it all the way over and down to the edge of the top of the granite so there's some continuity into the piece. So I'll show you that when I'm finished. This is the all-purpose putty bondo that I'm using. And it's thick, but I can, uh, it really sticks well and I can, attach it to just about any surface, so I think it will really work well for this. The reason I'm not like showing you what I'm doing is because I'm using my iPhone. I have not yet, ironically, I've done documentary videos, but I have not yet figured out a good camera to use out here without destroying it in this dust haven. Uh, so I'm in the process of doing that too, and hopefully these videos will become more visually uh, informative for you in the future. Okay, so I attached using epoxy this pedestal to the bottom of this granite. And on this piece, I've attached another piece of wood, screwed that in to really make sure that it stays on this pedestal here. And that's what I have glued the granite top to. So I'm about to take off those clamps because it's been over five minutes. I'm going to flip this upside down. I'm going to add that bondo to the underside part of this granite under there and to the underside of this tabletop here. And so there's a continuity between the way this looks and the way this looks. Okay, so I just noticed that those clamps, where's that one right there? Right there. They left marks. This one you can see really clearly. And that's probably, I'm probably going to have to pour another coat of resin on top of this. So there's marks right there and actually kind of a gouge. So I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can kind of see it there. And there's a mark there from the other right there. And the other, it's hard to see. Take my word for it, it's there, and I don't like it. So I'm probably going to cast another clear coat over the top of this when it's all attached. Wear one of these um, gloves, which are pretty durable, 
and then I mixed up all of the stuff in the can here with the hardener mixed in. I mixed it all up and I just guessed at how much I might need but you gotta work really fast for this particular bondo because it sets up quickly. So you can see, you can still see some of the plywood so that's gotta be fixed. That's not good. I want to get rid of that so I'm gonna have to mix up a little bit more and uh, cover that. But that's basically the idea. It's to match what I did to the pedestal here and just have a continuous uh, flow, which I think helps the aesthetics of the table. Okay, so I flipped this upside down and I buffed it with a paper towel and it looks like those marks came out. So I'm happy with this. And that's a done deal. Let me move back and show you that in my shop. That's it. It's kind of cool. Okay. Please subscribe if you like what I'm doing here. I make tons of different things from smalls like knives, switchblades, um, razor handles, pens, tables. I've made furniture too. Um, so I've done a lot of different things, but if you are interested in seeing the process that I go to and actually what I'm thinking as I'm doing it, uh, please stay tuned and uh, like or comment and let me know. I'm new at this, so I'm going to try and improve it as I go along, but I appreciate any help that anybody can give me.